This is the old uh, Trump Taj Mahal, currently getting ready for a liquidation sale. Uh, so it's a little eerie, place is shut down currently. I know uh, Carl Icahn and a couple other investors have bought uh, bankruptcy rights. and I'm not sure the whole details, so don't quote me, but they're going under some uh, bankruptcy reclosure process and sale and liquidation. And uh, it's just eerie. Eerie being here uh, was once uh, one of the major staples of Atlantic City, and now it's uh, just completely shut down. Front entrance of the Taj Mahal, and we get ready to go down uh, this main strip here. Uh, to the left will be all the other major casinos that are on uh, the boardwalk, Atlantic Ocean, uh, Caesars, Resorts, Tropicana, etc. So we'll take a look at that. The next street down, and you see Resorts Casino, okay, and then parking deck there. And we'll keep going. It's an older hotel there at Madison Hotel. And we're approaching here, uh, the Claridge, Claridge Hotel. And then you have coming up uh, Bally's, okay, which is one of the main casinos here. And then also Caesars. Parking you have to pay for, this one is $10. Uh, the casino parking is about the same, $10 to $20, depending if you have a gambler's, uh, uh, if you're a regular gambler, you have a card, you make it a discount. Uh, and you can park on the street, uh, and you can also pay for toll parking on the street, etc. And this is Caesars. Caesars is the main hotel as soon as you get off the Atlantic City Expressway. Uh, and Caesars and Bally's are the main two casinos on the boardwalk Atlantic City Ocean area. Uh, the other casinos pretty much have shut down. You have resorts in Tropicana, but they're not much to speak of. Um, so that's that.